Hi guys, I'm back with another custom ROM review and today's ROM is gonna be Dirty Unicorns. And first of all, I did some slight changes in my review style and you will see what I mean if you watch the video. The new style is less about showing off the ROM and the features, but more about talking about the performance, the battery life and the overall experience if I would use it personally or not. So let's start with the ROM. This ROM has about every possible feature you could think of. If the feature is available, chances are pretty high it is already there or coming soon. And let's quickly check this. This is, as you can see, the dirty tweaks. This is where most of the tweaks are. And as you can see, there is so much going on here. Notification drawer, lock screen, power menu, app bar. You have miscellaneous tweaks like this contextual notification header. As you can see here, depending on the time and date, it will change the background. Then there are things like battery, status bar, the, 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 the standard ones, the nav bar, the animations, and it's not just the animations, you get the system animations from AOKP, you get list view animations, you can even change the scrolling, keyboard can be changed, the toast settings can be changed, then you have the wake lock block or suspend actions, active display, gesture anywhere, as you can see, halo, omni switch, custom program bar. As you can see, there is so much going on here, and it would just take too much time to talk about all the stuff. As you can see, as I told you, if the feature is available, it's pretty good, the chances it is there. The only two I normally use that are missing is the A-Target lock screen, which can be replaced with the Gravity Box Exposed Framework Module, and the second one would be the Notification Reminder. Maybe it's there, but maybe I also didn't find it. I'm not really sure. So what is the good and the bad here? The good is you get a killer amount of features, best in class. I have still yet to see a ROM with more features than this one. The bad thing though, it could be overwhelming for starters and even for pros it's sometimes hard to find the right one what you're looking for. But I think it's time to get to the performance and battery life. Let's check the kernel real quick. This is uses no custom kernel. N not really, maybe it is one, but not really, you, get, you don't get any custom kernel features like the sound control and everything else. But you get underclock and overclock, and as you maybe saw it already, when I was first time at the site, the minimum and maximum was both at 2.2, and now it's already jumped to 1.26, and this is one issue I have with this, this kernel. The frequency always jumps all around, even if I do the frequency lock. It, it even is on and sometimes just does, jumps off. And this results, in my opinion, of too high frequencies. I think the, the ROM is fast and everything else, but I think there's a slight quirk with a bug maybe with the kernel because the frequencies aren't stable. They jump all around and yeah, the device gets a bit warmer and the battery maybe is a bit less good because of this. I'm not saying it is any big issue, but I wanted to mention it because otherwise, as you can maybe see here, this, this ROM is about as smooth and fast as it can get. I was absolutely satisfied over the whole time with this performance. Maybe it is because of the higher use frequencies, I'm not sure, but all in all I would say it is within the top 5, if not even top 3 of all the reviewed custom ROMs I did so far. Minimal lag, very consistent experience, smooth and snappy, but ever so slightly below Slimcat, but definitely above Carbon. As for the battery life, as I said, due maybe to using too high frequencies, I, the battery life is slightly on the weaker side. It's still respectable, got me easily through the day, but it is slightly below Slimcat and Carbon. It is on a high level, but on the weaker side of this high level. Still good enough, and you can always use custom ROMs after all to maybe change the frequency lock thing at the, the, uh, the higher temperatures. But to sum it up, you have a feature-rich ROM, very feature-rich as I said, but therefore it is leaning more towards hardcore feature fanatics than more to casual users. The overall performance is fantastic and definitely way above average. Battery life slightly on the weaker side, but still acceptable. There is this temperature and clock speed quirk. Stability wise, I had a few occasional lockups where the device just didn't respond for maybe one or two seconds, like a small freeze and two reboots. But this within two weeks, I think is nothing to really concern about. The good thing about this ROM otherwise would be, as you can maybe see here, the big community. It has over 3,700 members and the, uh, the community is very big and the development is very active. The good thing here, frequent unofficial releases almost every night, less frequent official stable ones though. This is no issue, but the good thing is you have the choice. You can use the unofficial ones every night or the stable ones once they get along. The other good thing is you get quick help from the community 
if you get noticed. And here is the bad thing. It's sometimes a bit harder to get noticed. As you can see, there's so much going on. And I did two or three requests and bug reports and just didn't get any answer. But I think this is possible due to so many stuff going on in this community. But now I want to end this review and answer two questions, which will be the part of my newer review style. And this would be, could I use this ROM as my daily driver? And would I use it as my daily driver? For the first question, would I use, uh, could I use it? Yes, absolutely. Because most of what I need is available. It's very solid, super smooth. What I really, that's really important for me. Battery life isn't so important because it's easily enough for me. But would I use it as my daily driver? And here I have to say no, because even for me, it's a bit too feature rich. This is just even for me a bit too overwhelming. If I search something, I sometimes just search too long for a certain query. Of course, this is a personal preference. If you are a hardcore feature fanatic, this ROM will really satisfy you. Once you get rid of the frequency lock thing and use maybe a custom kernel, you should definitely get all you want. For me, it's a bit too heavy in terms of features and I didn't get my A target lock screen and I had a small quirk with the gravity box one, but all in all, definitely recommendable, not my first choice, but definitely a fantastic ROM I could recommend to feature fanatics. Okay, so that's it for my custom ROM review. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, reshare this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye. I'll be back.